Hey there, it's Steve from Serious Keto. And starting with this video, I'm gonna be doing from time to time some kitchen tips and hacks. Some of these will be keto related, but most of them are just general cooking. If you're looking to up your game in the kitchen when it comes to the flavor of your recipes, there are few things that will give you as much bang for your buck as a spice grinder. We've all seen the recipes that call for freshly ground insert spice. So whether that's freshly ground pepper, freshly ground cumin, coriander, whatever. There's a reason for using freshly ground spices as opposed to something that's already ground and in a little jar, and that reason is flavor. If you doubt me on this, here's a little experiment you can try. Take a little cumin seed, grind it up in a mortar and pestle, and then take a whiff. Then take a whiff of some pre-ground store-bought cumin. Honestly, I can't even smell this after taking a whiff of this. Ugh. I mean, there's even some little citrus notes to it. Whew. Just, yeah, nothing. Infinitely better. But probably most of us are not interested in the time or the workout of using a mortar and pestle to create ground spices. Especially if you've seen those recipes that call for like a quarter cup of freshly ground pepper. I mean, who's gonna actually sit and grind a quarter cup of pepper from a pepper mill? So let's say we had a recipe that called for a couple of tablespoons even of freshly ground pepper. I always pour into the lid of the spice grinder, then put the grinder on upside down, flip it over, That took only a few seconds, and I have a bunch of coarse ground black pepper here. In terms of the aroma, here's some coarsely ground store-bought. Yeah, smells like pepper. That, <laughs> that has some kick. Wow. Again, you pick up notes that you don't normally get, including, I think, a little hint of citrus. You know, it's funny, after smelling this, this smells almost like, I don't know, nail polish or, it, it smells simultaneously stale and sort of chemical. It didn't smell like that to me before I smelled this. Oh, seriously, such a difference. Now, in terms of tips or hacks, first off, if you grind your own coffee, label them separately. Coffee, spices. You probably don't want your coffee tasting like cumin or pepper or coriander. I'm just assuming. Second, you'll notice, and you may have seen these on some of my other videos, these cable clamps. Great stuff for cable control. You can get these in a variety pack, which I will link to down below from Amazon, or I will also list the manufacturer direct if you want to get lots of these little ones. Next, we have the issue of cleaning. And this is applicable whether you're using a coffee grinder or a spice grinder. I intentionally left this one pretty dirty. This is my coffee from this morning. I'm sure most of us do our best with a moist paper towel to get out what we can. Even then, it can be kind of difficult getting in some of those nooks and crannies and underneath the grinder. To clean all those little nooks and crannies out of your grinder, Take one tablespoon of any kind of rice. And if you're keto, just buy the cheapest, smallest box of mini rice you can find. Then we grind that up. I'll dump this out and give you a close-up look. After a wipe with a paper towel, this looks practically new and there's no residual coffee or spice powder in any of the grooves. Another thing you'll notice after doing this is it also seems to take care of almost all of the smell of the spice or coffee. So there you go, start grinding your own spices and take your cooking game up a couple of notches. If you enjoyed this video, click that like button. If you wanna see more, hit that subscribe button. If you wanna be notified whenever I release a new video, tap that bell. And if you're interested in supporting the Serious Keto Test Kitchen, click that join button to see some of the options. No obligation. Thanks for watching.